Hey everybody, welcome back to Investment Honey, where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I am not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel, and I don't even encourage you to invest, but what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed in the channel. So with that said, we're looking at Quam Fox, and they do have a pre-sale that's going to be coming up on Pink Sale. Uh, here in a little while, at least uh, from the time we doing the video, we can see that this is going to be a, uh, here, well, it's going to be a pre-sale, alright? So, not a fair launch, and uh, so I'll go into you know that here in a minute we also see as far as the badges here we get one badge so it's their audit badge and as far as the audits concerned they did have um, uh, one issue you know on uh, their audit so it did pass but passed with the issues so that issue is that the contract owner can mint tokens after the initial contract deployment so that's the you know that's just simply coming out from the findings you know of the audit so we can also see this is going to be upcoming and the priest is going to start in just over one day and four hours from the time we're doing the video like i said this is a pre-sale so what that means is that you get a hard cap so the hard cap on this one's going to be 800 beans all right and so we can see that the sale top is going to be public and the minimum buy is going to be 0 0.05 uh, and the max buy which is highlighted as a concern and red flag for me personally is going to be 10 bnb i do consider 10 beans to be very high in terms of a max um you know contribution to an early sale like this so moving forward and the other reason why i highlight that is because it's not vested i didn't find any in any indication of any vesting information you know so basically if somebody you know wants to contribute 10 beans to this if they want to go ahead and dump you know especially if this is in profit you know at launch that's a lot of tokens to go ahead and dump on anybody else trying to go ahead and buy in at the launch so just be aware of that and we also see their socials here quam fox is a robust multi-chain platform to launch any nft unlike other nfts quam fox offers buyers a share in the current royalties or in the content royalties so these groundbreaking nfts are going to generate monthly royalty revenue and increase in value as a creator's career progresses nft owners can track this passive income and withdraw their earnings directly from their quam fox wallet plus they'll be tradable on the upcoming nft exchange so that's the description on this one we also see you know a video for the project but you guys know we don't play videos as we explore projects on the channel and so moving forward we can see tokens or well, not tokens for presale but presale rate is going to be 2500 of the native token per bnb soft cap we're looking at 400 beans <clears throat> excuse me hard cap we're looking at 800 like i mentioned before and liquidity percent so this is manual listing but you also don't see anything in regards to liquidity lockup time on this one so here are the token metrics the other thing i wanted to highlight as a concern for me 42 percent of the tokens are unlocked you know so anytime you got large amounts of unlocked tokens that's always going to be a concern red flag for me regardless of whether we're talking about this video or any other video that i cover on the channel so we are going to transition on over to the documentation so looking at that all right so whenever you open the white paper up this is basically what you get you know so you can click on this and it'll take you into you know their documentation so i'm going to go over to page nine you know um so sorry about that guys but here we go and we're looking at the roadmap so we can see in q1 up to uh, 2022 this is what they did and everything goes until q4 so i wanted to highlight that one of the concerns that i have here is that they are stating that the roadmap only went to q4 of 2022 all right so um however the reason why i'm still covering this is because i believe what's basically happened here is that they just didn't update you know the timelines so um they clearly have here you know in q3 their private sale and they're also mentioning the public sale so public sale obviously they got to have the pre-sale and then the public sale right so my assumption and again if the team can you know comes across the video it'd be great for them to go ahead and clarify this is that basically right now where they're at in terms of their, their roadmap is your obviously we're in q1 of 2023 at the time we're doing the video but the public sale hasn't taken place yet so they still have a number of things to do so basically the timelines here are misleading because clearly they haven't had their public sale yet right so either way just wanted to make you aware of that but it would be helpful if the team could update what's going on in terms of the timelines you know on the roadmap and this is the reason why i say in other videos it's so important for teams to stay very connected you know to the roadmaps because roadmaps are essentially living documents and fluent fluid documents and as changes are taking place they need to make the changes because people do read the roadmaps to get an idea of 
is part of their assessment as to whether they want to go ahead and be part, you know, connected to this project in terms of participating. So, all right. So with that said, we're going to move on over, you know, to um, page 11 here, and that's just going to go over distribution. So we can see 10% going to liquidity, 8% going to marketing, 2% going to partners. 10% going to development, 6% going to foundation, 4% to the team, 10% going to staking, and 50% to pre-sale. We also see same information indicated here in the graphical representation of the same information we covered here on the left-hand side of the page. So I'm going to transition on over to the main you know, page right now, and we can see all the links up here in the navigation bar. We also get a button to launch their app and a button here to buy tokens. So as we scroll through, they give you some about information too. Got a bit of a marquee kind of going here, you know, with, with all the different NFTs. Um, the launch pad, so they give you, you know, some information there stating that it's a robust, you know, multi-chain platform to launch NFTs. So this is the, basically just reiterating the same information that we saw, you know, on, um, you know, on pink sale for the pre-sale. We also see here, you know, same information in regards to the roadmap. My feedback would be the same here. You know, they need to update, you know, the timelines. That would be my guess. If I'm wrong, they can indicate that for me. However, if their roadmap were to only extend to Q4 2022, I would immediately state that as a concern and a red flag for me because how are you at a pre-sale phase, you know, of your project and, you know, you're only going out to Q4 of 2022 when at the time of your pre-sale, you be, you're beyond, you know, the length of what your current iteration of your roadmap states, you know, um, you're at, you know, so the end of the roadmap is going to be at Q4 2022. Clearly, we're beyond that. So, so yeah, if the team comes across the video, I think they should definitely do something to update that. All right, so... Moving forward, we're basically at the end of the page. We get some links, you know, here, but uh, for the Telegram, you know, channel, group, you know, Twitter, and for the Medium, you know, page as well. So that's going to do it for me in regards to Quam Fox. You know, so again, they've got their pre-sale. It's going to be coming up in just over a day and four hours for the time of me doing the video. So if this is something you're interested in, please make sure that you operate, you know, um, with as much information as you can possibly get you know, in regards to the project. Keep in mind, I do list concerns and red flags, you know, in every video. If I have any concerns or red flags, sometimes I cover them in the video content itself. And for some, you know, aspects of those concerns or red flags, sometimes it's just stuff that is just listed in the description. So make sure that you always make sure that you're looking at what I am stating in the description because there may be additional information that I did not cover on the project um, at the time of the review. So thanks so much for watching. And with that said, you all enjoy the day.